This video illustrates how to plug the vertices from your polygon of constraints into the optimization function in order to provide an answer for your question. We're using an example that we've used in some other videos that's shown on the right here. My polygon of constraints is bounded by the vertices A, B, C, and D. The first thing I want to do is make a table like I have on the left and enter vertex A, B, C, and D into it on the left side. I need to know the x and y coordinates of the vertices for this operation. So I enter them beside their vertex label in the table. 5025 is A, 33.3, 66.7 is B, 100, 0 is C, and 50, 0 is D. My optimization function is given here on the top. And on the bottom, I need to know what my x and y stand for. So in this case, I'm choosing to say x is equal to the number of cheeseburgers sold and y is equal to the number of hot dogs sold. What I now have to do is I have to take this optimization equation and I have to replace the x with the x from vertex A and replace the y with the y from vertex A. And then I have to simplify. 6 times 50 is 300 and 3 times 25 is 75. 300 plus 75 is 375 dollars. I keep doing that until I've done all four of my vertices. In vertex B, 6 times 33.3 is 200 dollars and 3 times 66.7 is also 200. So they total 400 dollars. In vertex C, x is equal to 100, so I replace the x with 100. y is equal to 0, I replace y with 0. 6 times 100 is 600, and 3 times 0 is 0, so my total is $600. And finally, in vertex D, I'm replacing the x and y with 50 and 0. And I get 6 times 50 plus 3 times 0, and that simplifies to $300.